we're now going to learn how to use frequency tests. So what are frequency tests? They're basically simple tests we use to tell us how many times a certain result has occurred. Why do we do them? We do them when we want basic information about our data, but we don't want to do any statistical significance tests. As mentioned before, they can also be a great place to start when cleaning our data or looking for outliers. A lot of frequency analysis is used for some of the common output or visualizations such as tables, bar graphs, pie graphs, stack columns. However, we do start with this data in SPSS, getting the output, and then we use other software to produce that. So how do we run, run frequency tests? We do it by analyze, descriptive statistics, and frequencies. We then have to select all the variables we want to analyze, moving them to the box on the right. As we can see, we can resize this, always done in the best practices, so we can actually see the label name as well. What we're going to do is look at the primary pet of those who shop at the store and purchase history and run frequency, frequency analysis for both of those. Now, what we'll notice is that we have the label name here. As we can see in the outer uh, sort of brackets there, we can see that the variable name, primary underscore pet. So we'll click that one, move it over and purchase history as well. We can do the same thing or we can drag it over. In this case, we want to know the mean, the median, the mode and the standard deviation um, and maybe things like minimum and maximum. So what we do for this is click on statistics and select all the output we want to see. Let's just do minimum and maximum as well. Um, now in this window, we could also do things such as percentiles or quartiles. Uh, with quartiles, this involves showing the results in four categories. So it splits them into the bottom 25%, lower, middle 25, etc. Uh, this could really show the results in as many groups as we want though through percentile. So rather than doing it through four, doing it through as many as we like. Um, a common one might be 10 percentile groups. Other things are helpful depending on what you're doing though. So it's really important to note that we're just selecting in this window, but it doesn't change our data. So all we're doing with this is selecting the output we're gonna be shown, the data, and the, uh, the data set itself won't necessarily be the change. So if we ran the output with median and mode, sorry, without median and mode, the mean figures would be the same irrespective. Sometimes the standard deviation is also helpful to interpret the scores relative to the mean. Um, and as we've sort of talked about earlier on, this only makes sense when we're looking at interval or ratio type variables as the mean for an ordinal or nominal variable, things such as primary pet um, don't make sense. So SPSS will still show us it though, but we just need to keep in mind that it doesn't actually make sense to interpret the mean for ratio, sorry, for nominal or ordinal variables. For extra info on these sorts of things, as well as skew and kurtosis with respect to distribution, you'll need to do a little bit of research on your own. Um, and these have been covered in previous units and there's lots of information out there for that. It's important to use things such as dispersion and central tendency. So what we're looking at here, um, it is really important to have these as part of your interpretations because they'll reveal the nuances of the data and can have some really valuable implications for understanding what the data is going to be telling you. So once we've done it, continue. Okay, we'll see our output pop up and here we have the information based upon what we've selected on the different options there. So the two different variables, valid being the number of cases or the number of respondents. Here we have some basic information about the mean, the median, the mode, standard deviation, etc. Um, and for each of those items, we now have a breakdown um, of the frequencies, as in other words, how many times for each of these they've occurred. As we can see, one, two, three, six. So that means there was no score or four or five for that one. So take some time to look through that in your own time um, and you'll find some really important basic information.